hello everyone welcome to the one more amazing series today in this series i'm going to explain that how to deploy the application on the server how to create the database on the server how to connect your application with the database how to execute different commands in the in your project how to create the domain how to create the subdomain and how to create the subdirectory into the domain and uh, there is much more things so we are going to cover all things into the real environment so this is my uh, pc and here i'm going to uh, first login into the my c panel and then i'm going to perform these steps so please uh, stay connected for all videos where you will learn that how you can do it from zero to the advanced level so first of all you need to open your hosting c panel so it will provide you <coughs> a url and then you need to open this url so in my case i'm using a different dedicated server so that's why my url is different cp.discountshoppinghop.login so i'm going to login into my own one right so let me fill these out and uh, let me get refresh and this will be automatically filled in and then i'm signing in so in your case it would be different so sign in and then after this almost it will be identical for all of your all of the c panels okay so i'm logged in and uh, here <clears throat> in my case i need to verify it so i'm hiding some uh, some of things from security purposes okay let me click on this manage so in your case it will be open by default so i have a different uh, uh, different uh, uh, i have created different c panel that's why it's asking me that uh, you want to log in with the different one that's why i'm selecting first and then i'm going to uh, visit it to the dashboard so this is my dashboard it's look like this so in your case it would be uh, identical and it will contain the uh, file manager email accounts uh, web tools domain names security and stuff like that right so first we are going to uh, i'm going to tell you that where your project is located where your database are located so in your case your projects are located into this uh, file manager and your databases are located in the mysql if you are using mysql so you can go to this mysql or if you are using different one so in your case uh, if you added this database so your option will be available here like you are using uh, postgres or different so there is a section of domains and subdomains so in this uh, series i will also tell you that how you can create the domain how to upload the project into a specific domain and how to run this domain right so let me check the video size no it's not going bigger so i uh, totally try to shoot this into five to seven minutes because i don't want to bore my students okay so there are uh, there is one more uh, feature is email so if you want to send email from your c panel so you can use this so uh, email account and where you can create your account and uh, get the credentials and you go to your env file where you can use this email service so it's totally upon you but here we are focusing on how we can deploy our application on the server so this is a server and uh, i'm going to deploy the project and i have prepared a zip file so you need to first to create the zip file because we are not going to upload to these files because laravel project contained a lot of files that's why i'm not going to upload them one by one so if i go here into this school app so this one i have created this for uh, for my client and this one is a zip file so i added this a zip file and now i'm going to uh, create first domain uh, subdomain and then i will deploy this into my server so in the next video i'm going to create the domain and uh, let's meet to uh, meet in the next one bye bye